Hello, it's Jim. Today I'm going to show you how to flash the firmware and configuration files onto a VESC compatible electronic speed controller. VESC is an open source hardware and software electronic speed controller. The VESC project has an app called the VESC tool to flash the firmware and the configuration files. It's available here on vesc-project.com. You can grab a copy here. It runs under Windows, Linux, and Macintosh. For our demonstration today, we are using Linux, Ubuntu 16.04. I've downloaded the application. Let's extract it. We will be using VESC tool 1.25. We will also need a configuration file to flash our VESC with. In the new race car J's, we're using a 6.0 version of the VESC. Let's grab the configuration file. In the race car J account on GitHub, there is a repository named VESC-firmware. We need the configuration file for the VESC 6. You can git clone the repository, but in our case, we're just going to grab the one file that we need. Let's open up the VESC configuration folder. And here's the file that we need, VESC 6 plus 30k.xml. As you can see, it's an XML file. These are all the configurations for the electronic speed controller. Let's open up the raw version of the file. We click on the raw button. Raw. And now we will save the file. Let's save it as, oh, that looks like a good name. Let's put it over here in our VESC tool folder. Now we hit save. There it is. Let's start up the VESC tool application. Welcome. Please read all instructions carefully for your own safety. <laughs> oh my. Next. Experimental software, electrical failure, fire, electric shock. This is all the good stuff, huh? Yes, I understand and accept. My fate is sealed. Next. Here's my limited warranty. Yes, I understand and accept. Next. Here's the conclusion to our adventure. We are now ready to start using the VESC tool. Any questions? We just hop over to the VESC forum. Finish. Let's rearrange this a little bit. The application wants to set up some UDEV rules. Yes, please. Password. The UDEV rule was created successfully. Would you like to reload? Yes, please. Password. Another resounding success. Now we are ready to power up the VESC and connect it to the computer. The VESC needs to be powered up to flash the firmware. The LED should light up and it'll blink, indicates that it is booting up. Let's go over to the firmware settings, click on this. Here are all the different hardware versions we can select from. We happen to know that ours is a 60. Let's go back over to our Welcome and Wizards tab. Now we are ready to connect. Upper right hand corner icon. Click on that. We have a warning. The connected VESC has too old a firmware. Well, we'll have to reflash some new firmware on there then. Okay. Let's click firmware in the left panel. You can tell that the VESC was detected. We can see down here that this is hardware 60, I'll assume that means 6.0, and firmware 3.48. We are going to use non-default firmware. Let's click this checkbox. We will select VESC underscore servo out dot bin. That allows PWM output on the VESC. We control the steering servo on the race car with that signal. Let's hit the upload button. Warning. Hmm. Uploading new firmware will clear everything. Do you want to continue? Yes, please. 
and the uploading begins. After the firmware is uploaded, the VESC will reboot. You can see the red flashing light here. You can do this with the VESC installed in the race car, of course. You just need a longer USB cable. Okay, now we're ready to upload the configuration file. We reconnect to the VESC. And let's open up the file menu. Under the File menu, Load Motor Configuration XML. And let's use the file that we downloaded. Open. And now we are ready to write it out to the VESC. This is the Write Configuration button. Down arrow M. Click that. Let's written it out. Let's take a look. Under Motor Settings General. Let's take a look at our RPM. It's set to 30,000. We can read the default motor configuration. We see that it was 10,000. And we can read the current motor configuration. We know our configuration worked. We're ready to disconnect and use our VESC. I hope you find this video useful. Thanks for watching.